I've shown you what it's like to hike a glacier in Alaska, climb a coliseum in Tunisia, and today I'm visiting the world's largest waterfall system, Iguazu Falls. But first, let's back up. Today I'm flying from Buenos Aires, the capital of Argentina, to Puerto Iguazu, the city where the Argentinian side of Iguazu Falls is located. It was pretty much impossible to find a direct flight internationally into Puerto Iguazu, so you're gonna have to connect through Buenos Aires. Generally, the best way to do this is to fly into Buenos Aires, spend at least one night in town, and then catch a flight the next day. The humidity of this city hits you pretty much right as you step off the plane. And while you were landing, you were flying over jungles. There was beautiful views of what I'm pretty sure are rainforest as you were flying in. It was spectacular. So right now we're at the entrance of the Guazu Airport. And as you can see right on the border of the airport, you already have a tree line. As the plane was landing, it was flying over jungles and landing on the airport strip. Pretty cool airport. I can't wait to show you guys the full beauty of Iguazu Falls tomorrow. We're gonna go on a hike by the waterfall, we're gonna take a boat ride at the base of the falls, and we're gonna visit some place called the Devil's Throat. Not quite sure what that is, we're gonna find out together, but I am so excited to finally be here. One of the main reasons why I came to Argentina in general was to visit Iguazu Falls, one of the seven natural wonders of the world, and I am so excited to share it with you. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everyone. Let's go explore Iguazu Falls. We've been walking on this perfectly smooth pavement for about 10 minutes now here inside the National Park. Now we're gonna go to our first destination, the Devil's Throat, one of the best viewing areas in the park. I initially thought this was going to be a fairly rural experience. This goes to show you how little I looked into the details of this trip. This is definitely not rural. You are, of course, in the rainforest and the jungle, but it is a very well-developed area. I just left a cafe and purchased a nice hot coffee. There's sit-down restaurants, there's fast food restaurants, there's multiple gift shops here, so much more developed than I was expecting. If anyone knows what animal this is on this shirt, can you let me know in the comments down below? I'm kind of refusing to look it up, but I'm seeing it everywhere. Clearly it's in this forest, but I don't know what it is. It looks like an anteater, but as I said, I don't want to look it up. I'm trying to figure it out, so let me know. Once you're in the park, you're going to want to take the ecological train up to the Devil's Throat. This is a 4.3 mile railway that cuts through the jungle and runs along the Iguazu River. The whole journey takes about 20 minutes and you should expect tight seating. Passengers were sitting four to a row and facing one another. Once you get up the train, it's about a 25 minute walk along this metal path built on top of the river and going through the jungle to get to the Devil's Throat. Right now I'm here in early October and the weather is pretty much perfect. Very mild humidity, like 75 degrees. Perfect day for a nice calm walk. This is a completely flat walk, no elevation, so it's super, super easy to do. Anybody can do it. This is the Devil's Throat in Iguazu Falls, Argentina. The Devil's Throat. Measuring 92 feet wide and dropping 269 feet is the largest waterfall in a combined network of 275 waterfalls that together make up Iguazu Falls. As always with these tours, you should try to get here as early as possible. We were supposed to be on the 9 a.m. train. We ended up not being able to make it. We called the 10 a.m. and by the time we got here, it was already very busy at the observation area. And I'm sure as everybody knows, in a rainforest, there is a lot of rain. 
When we got here this morning, it was pretty clear skies, a little bit cloudy. Now, as we are walking out, you have the dark storm clouds approaching and we still have a lot to do today. Now we're gonna go on a boat ride and see this beautiful waterfall from the bottom. So you can see what it looks like from the top and the bottom. And we're also gonna go on a trek through the jungle. After a short walk back to catch the train, I stumbled on something very unusual. Oh my God, that weird mystery creature thing. Found it. I was today years old when I learned about the existence of an animal called the South American Coati. These cute animals live throughout tropical South American environments and primarily live off fruit, invertebrates, and bird eggs. The next part of our adventure is something called the Jungle Ride. This is an open air safari that takes you through the jungle and down to the base of the river. In South America, we used to find the tropical rainforest with different fields. Paraguay and the last part used to be here in Argentina, especially in Misiones provinces where we are right now. But today, we're going to still find it in Brazil and Paraguay just a little spot, okay? And the largest part, it is in Argentina right now. Anyway, we are talking about the last 5% in whole world. And after a few moments, the inevitable finally happened. And it's downpouring. We're just sitting, chilling, waiting to get off the safari, being completely rained on. Oh, we're moving. Progress. The rain just got even harder. With the rain coming down hard, it was time to get on a boat and sail into waterfalls. That was kind of a shit show. The rain was downpouring and they gave us these yellow bags to put our belongings in to keep it waterproof because the boat we are going to go on apparently is going to go under one of the waterfalls so I did not know that we would be getting that level soaked today but we are. Thankfully the rain I think stopped for a few minutes but yeah that was like pure chaos. Oh I see the pier. Yeah, I'm wearing a poncho. It's it, absolutely nothing. I am completely soaked. Thankfully, they gave us this bag for our stuff. It's waterproof and took off my shoes and the bag. That was so much fun. I'm going to get a shower later. Of course, just as you pull up the dock, it starts raining again. <laughs> it's been raining on and off the entire day. They told us to take our shoes off on the boat so our shoes wouldn't get wet. Now, of course, my feet and pants are completely drenched and we are walking barefoot up the stairs back to the safari bus. The actual process of the changing area before you get into the boat and right after you get out of the boat is very, very chaotic, especially when it was raining. They need a much bigger space here with bigger tents. So that was not so pleasant. But aside from that aspect of it, the boat ride was actually very, very fun. I would highly recommend it if you are here. Just know you will get absolutely soaked. After changing into a dry set of clothes that I thankfully brought with me, there was one more viewing area that we had to visit. And this may have been my favorite one.
made it back to my hotel, took a piping hot shower and had an early dinner. I am exhausted after a long day and several days trekking through Argentina. I hope I was able to share some of the magnificent beauty of Iguazu Falls with you. If you enjoyed this video, you can really help me out. I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers by the end of the year. You can help out by leaving a like down below and sharing this video with one or two of your friends. And I hope I can see you guys in the next episode. Have a good night.